Brookworld Chicago 2020 will not be happening, and I happen to have some footage from Brookworld Chicago 2018 that I never uploaded to YouTube. These are some unseen files that I think you guys will enjoy in lieu of what would have been some convention vlogs this very weekend. So enjoy the Brookworld Chicago 2018 unseen vlog. Noises hide in me. I also don't know if that's going to happen. What, Noah? No, Xavier. Oh, no, that's, that's, that's serious because uh, Chris is going, so we did it too. Oh, actually. Oh, did you even start? Come on! I thought you were in the middle of a gun battle. <laughs> no. Alright, it's official check Are we playing Halo? I might actually want to play that. It is 10-15 and our Fortnite night is continuing. And Halo. Oh. And Halo now because Good. Fortnite nice, didn't nice, download fast enough. But yeah. quite a lot going yeah, on here. What's up? John on cam. Hey. Hey, get a good view of their Fortnite over there. There you go. That's good. Good job, Lee. Yeah, the acoustics are perfect. Yeah. There was one. There was like this really small one. Danny knocked the vase over, and so now we have to clean this up because Danny's dead. There we go. We're gonna need more. He did it again. I can't believe it was live. Nobody knows how to play. Oh. He's got him, as they say in the game, but has sadly been taken out by Feline Tunic 7. seven. <laughs> what do you think, Danny? Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. 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 Wait, Danny, not yet. We should take him down. Danny, it's about to go off. <laughs> the TV's about to just shut off. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, last I'm guy. Away. Is it two? Is it you and one guy? Mm -hmm. Gay. <laughs> 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 I know what Daniel means when he said Gabe touches. <laughs> wait, 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 stop, 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 Oh shit, that was two steps. <laughs> he did. I was awake. And then Gabe laid on me and knocked me out. <laughs> <laughs> and then in that brief moment I was knocked out, I had a short dream where Matt was standing around as Gabe was laying on me. Probably and he me. said that we wasn't coming anymore. Oh no! Oh no! It was a nightmare! <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare. Right. <laughs> You did it! Hooray! Hip, hip, harambe. <laughs> All right, we are just about to the bricks and minifig store. It is just up here on the right. This should be a rather interesting experience. This is something that I don't think any of us have ever been to, right? No, 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 all around. All right. So this is like basically a Lego resale store, the GameStop of Lego, if you will. And I don't know what to expect. We're supposed to get some sort of discount here, so that should be pretty cool as well. And we'll see if we can find any cool sets. I know they're going to mainly be looking for parts, but I'm kind of in it for some Lego sets. Maybe I'll get some parts. But there it is. Bricks and minifigs. Nice artwork on the walls on the exterior. The logo up there. Matt's already here. Let's go in. Wow, they got a lot of stuff. We have your controller. Sweet. Thanks for getting that for me. They should, why didn't they have like a booth at the, the place, you know? They should have had a booth there. You know? Lots of third party items. 
Oh wow, that's a lot of Lego racer sets. Danny! Yeah. Look, what do they have? I bet if you walked out, if you had like a bunch of them in there, they would have let no, you that's take what, it. That's what I do with CMFs. That's, I yeah, that's what I've seen. CMFs in there, but there were none left. Well, even sometimes when I take the CMF box, I just take the box. They have the, the brick loot on you? The brick loot? Nah, I think that's a home. I'm pretty sure. They have a lot of cool, like, older stuff, though, like, just out. It's a little bit surreal, if you will. Very, very cool yeah. stuff here. Here's the brick arms. For those of you that are interesting. Red VIP chains, keychains, 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 keychains like mad. All right, so these are certified used Lego sets. I think that's what the idea here is they have a ton of different sets with the boxes and even if they don't have the boxes they kind of put them in these white boxes so very interesting uh, here's this set one of my first sets from back in the day lots and lots of different sets from all tons of different themes i honestly wish i had one of these stores uh near me i think i guess this is used as well so these are all used up there but very interesting selection so, take a look down lower. And some battle packs, trying to close this out down at the bottom here. Here's the other section of the store over here. We got a little roller coaster, a lot of the Speed Champion sets, which I believe are no longer available, at least at Toys R Us at least. There are some older Star Wars sets, mixed in with some newer stuff. See a lot of sets you just haven't probably seen in a while here. $15 on those. Notable figures here. Absolute classics. Just you really should own one if you haven't already got one. And over here we have some non Star Wars used sets. I don't know. If, yeah, th so these may be incomplete, is the idea. So they're kind of cheaper, which is okay. I think that's kind of a fair way to do it. So this is all the, the non Star Wars sets over here. And just kind of an interesting look here. They, I mean, they have a huge selection. I'm actually kind of surprised at how much they do have in store here. And they have some of the older Toys R Us minifigure packs from all the different themes that they've had from over the years. So. You guys may recognize some of that a little bit better than I do because I don't really follow those many figure packs. Here's probably one of the older sets they have in store. It looks like a Lego Expert Builder. And by today's standards, that is not much of an expert build, but I guess back in the day, you would have had a little bit of a tough time. That looks like it was some of the first use of Technic before they were calling it Technic. That's kind of what it seems to me. Looks like we have a ton of different Lego minifigures ranging from Ninjago, uh, Batman movie, Harry Potter, lots and lots of different stuff. So. Try to get you guys as good of a look at a lot of this as possible. Look, you see through the glass there. Alright, so the parts sorting continues as they pick out what they want. This is an $80 bag, but they're giving us 30% off, which is quite a deal. So, assuming you can hear me, you know what the deal is here. Over here, we have Spencer sorting out some more parts, getting what he needs for his latest mock. And over here we have Daniel. He was the lucky yeah. person that found a Minecraft spider inside the bolt. But oh, lots here's of what I'm pulling parts. out right now. Yeah. A lot, a lot of, nice of pans. Pieces. So what's your next build going to be? I have That's no from idea. the Harry Potter set. That one's pretty cool to have in there. Oh yeah. So nice little finds in there. Getting about halfway full. And here we have Lee sorting through quite a large amount of bulk as well. There's a lot to be seen over here. What kind of part? You got like filler brick then? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, filler brick. Random. Interesting. 
Yeah, here's like their middle display here. They got lots of different random old sets, like pirate sets in here, which is kind of interesting as well. The UCS Lane Falcon, some lightsaber helps for sure. Something I wish LEGO would make, but they do not make. But they're still kind of cool. And then the Millennium Falcon. Bowser and Mario, actually, that's that's pretty dope. Lee continues his quest for every Lego stud ever in girl color. Spencer continues finding random parts. That is a bag. That's a thick bag. Yeah. Alright, we are about to take a lunch break and go to McDonald's and then come back. Whoa, Lee, yours is pretty full. Very nice. And then I'm gonna be getting the Daniel. I'm gonna be getting the white boba fat, the creator Volkswagen Beetle, and then three minifigures. Maybe more. <laughs> We're at McDonald's, eh? 
the classic MR Productions McDonald's meal here. If you guys want to, you know, steal my meal, this is what I get. You select no sauce. Bam. That's how you do it. No, I'm good, thanks. Alright, let me know how you do. Yep. No sauce again, and no sauce once more. They should give you money off if you get no sauce, but they don't. But they'll charge you for extra sauce. So here we have Daniel trying out these chicken tenders for the first time. As you guys know here on the channel, I really like them. And now he does too. Alright, we are back from lunch, and the sort and kind of finding of parts continues. Danny's over here continuing to add to his bag and collection. And we have Lee over here finishing up his bag. Alright, this is Lee's finished bag. That is a lot of trans green. What's all the trans green and yellow for? I don't know, I just grabbed all of it that was there. <laughs> I, I don't know, I just grabbed it. Classic quote. Alright, yeah. thank you. Alright, so they're still in there picking parts. And this place is pretty popular right now. There's actually quite a few people in here. And we are all just getting parts and doing everything that we've been doing the whole time. I'm actually filling this up with kind of filler brick for Danny because he wanted that done. So that'll get done here soon. Just gonna pick out the brick, make sure it's an actual Lego brick. Cause there's actually a fair amount of fake Lego that kind of gets mixed in uh, Mega Blocks and other kind of brands like that. But for the most part, most of it is Lego. You just have to kind of you know, pick and choose your battles here and be careful with the, the bricks you pick. But Danny has his final parts, both fat Bags about to drop right. David, the bags. David, thank you, Very nice. Appreciate it. So when you sell something in bricks and minifigs, they give you this thing that like, I don't know, you basically say I sold this and that's what they It's kind of like GameStop so. or Discreet Fight. Yeah. Oh. Like Alright, I have piece. completed my purchase. I spent 208 something. It's all in here. We'll take a look at it when we get in the car. And again, this is Brooks and Minifigs. They gave us a great little discount here for everybody. They got great deals on bulk bricks. You can see some of the bags there that uh, Daniel got. And we got good deals on like sealed new sets and such. So, very happy with this. I can't wait to come back again next year. How much does this one cost? It's fake Lego. Oh, I know, I'm just... I don't know. After four and a half hours, we are finally leaving Bricks and Minifigs. It is about time to go. Because of my pants. What? That's fucking well, All our parts from Bricks and Minifigs in here, mad parts for oh, yeah. Final First Lego Trooper. Large, large bags. Push so stop. Jack is still was arguing with someone. I'm like, I got my stuff over here. From like, we're at Danny's house. Danny you know that, has brought well, us another have. suitcase so that I can try to fit what I can fit and then anything I can't fit I'll probably have to ship home but I also need to figure out what else I can fit in there um, but I probably can fit most of this in here we will see we don't have this so we don't have any in here so it's been like 30 minutes. I went ahead and put like my dirty clothes in the front panel of my suitcase And then I was able to fit in a lot of sets here I have to put another pair of shoes on top of those shoes and then obviously I'll wear the other pair But that is all the Lego that's really gonna fit in there this suitcase I was actually able to get a lot into thanks to Danny It's gonna loan me this one for about a year and I was able to actually fit even under there is my case of uh, shore troopers or uh, whatever stormtroopers uh, scare stormtroopers, so Lots of stuff was able to fit in there. The last two things that really haven't been able to fit are these, and I might actually be able to fit them in my backpack, which will be the last thing I have to, to pack, obviously, because I'm gonna get my computer in there in the morning. So we'll see what happens with that. But it looks like I might be able to actually bring everything home and not have to ship it or actually check another bag, but time will tell. All right, here we are live with Lego Buff Productions. There's a storm approaching. So Danny has to get some yard work done here. He's just chopping his stuff. He doesn't even know what he's really supposed to do, but uh, it, it looks, like it's working. Are we allowed to say where we're going, Danny? We're going, we don't even know where we're going, but we're going to a, a Lego place. We're going to see a guy. All right, Spencer, what are we up to? 
We're about to steal so much stuff. Oh my god, dude. You don't even know. This is the, ultimate the ultimate heist. heist. Yes. Dude, that would literally be the funniest. The ultimate plot twist. The that would literally be the funniest thing of all time. It's not, but it would be funny. Something sketchy is going on. We're actually just looking at like a... Oh, there's the boss. There's the boss. Boss man. My, I, this is so sketch. We're about to die. This is a scene from Breaking Bad. <laughs> hey, at least oh, it totally bad. is. All right, we're here at an undisclosed location where there's a lot of like... Like the coolest stuff you guys have in here. I don't know. I take all the cool stuff out. There's a Simpsons house somewhere. Like right there. Yeah, there's the box. Yeah, there's the box. That's back there. Fair enough. There's two UCF pounds under here. Oh, the bills are layered. Jeez. You want to put the lid on? It's crazy. That would make sense. Alright, they're all just picking out random parts, I think. I have no idea. Yeah, but you see, is, we have any idea. I, I, yeah, it's pretty crazy. There's so much ass. stuff in here. I don't even like. God knows what's in all that. Is there but... an empty box over there that I could use? No, that costs extra. There should be a thing of bags right next to you. All right, so here's a bit of a look into the back of the area. Here we just got some really old, cool sets. Lego Factory. So this is a set that you would like order, and they would bring whatever parts you ordered. And like it would be a set, which is actually really cool. I've never really seen one of those boxes here. We have a Monster Fighters uh, box, some Ninjago stuff. This is just pretty insane. And they said they have three more storage units that we will hopefully be able to take a look at. We will see what happens with those. But uh, chances are we will get into them at some point here this evening. And some night set. And I mean, there is just tons of sets. You can see a car set in there. So... This is pretty, pretty insane. Some bigger base plates here. Looks like a Lego City set. There's some different accessories in these kind of crates here. Open up one more, you get an idea of what's going to be in all of these. Just all tons of different kinds of accessories. And for those of you wondering, it's actually, it's like an actual physical retail store. But right now they're kind of moving. So they can't really, they don't have a place to put this, so they got storage units, and now it's just sitting in storage units right now. So we got some stuff here that Matt is going to get. Daniel's having some trouble in there. Let's see what's going on. I'm holding up 20 bins by myself. Well, maybe you shouldn't have held them to begin with. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> That's why that weighs so much. <laughs> it's a typewriter. It's an ancient typewriter. Wait, can we look at it? This is great. <laughs> it's a typewriter. Oh my god. All right, so as we're wrapping up our seventh vlog here, or nearing the end rather, we have found out some rather sad news. It's been confirmed that the Brick Show will not be returning as they have uploaded a video titled Thanks for the Nine Years of Fun. And this is pretty much an admission of defeat. Uh, any thoughts, Spencer and... Uh, Danny, as we head towards uh, our song in Momento. It was it was a good run. It was a good run. Any thoughts, Spencer? Was it a good run? <laughs> <laughs> Turn it up, baby. I miss Max. Turn it up. Bring back Max. Max, never forget. You were so fun. Why? Why? Why?